Hello, good morning, my friends. Uh, this is Chun Jin Lin, of the, the founder of Spring Forest Qigong, greeting from Minnesota of the United States. Thank you so very much for taking your time again at 8 o'clock Central Time, joining me in this morning practice. Today is our 20th day of our 30-day Spring Forest Qigong practice to help heal coronavirus, if you have any. Gosh! Time really flies. It's 20 days. Well, congratulations to you. And let's give each other a high five. There we go. So beautiful. Wow, I'm just so excited. And up to that many days practice. Do you notice your energy is going deeper and going deeper and deeper? You are able to experience more the qi movements inside you and around you. Don't you? And a lot of people share the beautiful stories with me, and I'm, I'm so thankful. And a lot of people continue to share what we are doing every day with so many friends, family, and I, your community. I think that is great, and I'm so thankful to you because this is what we are doing to help the world with more peace, with more healing from our heart. So please share your heart with others. Remember yesterday, I asked you a question, and uh, whether you remember, and what makes a Spring Forest Qigong practice is so powerful? Do you remember that? Now, so the four things, the four basic things, is very very important. Number one, in Spring Forest Qigong, our mission is a healer in every home in a world without pain and suffering. We strongly believe that everybody was born a healer. Everybody was born, this is the number two, everybody was born with these beautiful gifts that you can help yourself to heal, you can help others to heal too, because the power of this healing is from unconditional love. It's from universal unconditional love. It's not only the unconditional love from, unconditional love from your heart, it's also the unconditional love from the universe from our ancestors, from the your God, and from your masters, and from many, many sources. And when we put that, po that power together, you see, this becomes a collective consciousness, collective power. You see how powerful it is? And then, number three, and Spring for Qigong were, was designed to help people to heal to heal completely and grow spirit, uh, their spirituality. So uh, we have this unique, simple, repeated, slow, effective movements to help to ignite the code of your life blueprint. And unconditional love is part of the code of the life blueprint. So once you ignite that from within, that's the moment. Complete healing takes place. And number four, community. In this tough time, turbulent time, Spring Forest Qigong community is out there helping so many people, thousands or tens of thousands of people for their healing, helping them in the process of healing. And in, uh, this, our community includes our certified teachers, certified leaders, and the practice group leaders, I mean, and certified and the healers, and many, many uh, the practice groups in home, in a church, in, uh, in the community. So uh, you can easily find a practice group in the world, maybe, so in, even in your town, and uh, check it out. Because we so, so strongly believe that we were born a healer. We were born with this beautiful gift. We can help ourselves to heal. We can help others to heal. You may say, hmm, I was born a healer. And what is that? Well, I think in the past you already learned so many different techniques, right? So, for instance, if you have headaches, hey, massage the haku point and put a smile on your face and sending light into that spot and massage and you know, 
here in the morning session, we only talk about, we only focus our energy on helping people with the coronavirus healing. And if you have some other challenges, you know what? This energy movement, I mean Qigong movement and, and the, the techniques you learn, can help so many other things too. For instance, you ha if you have a diarrhea, you have a stomach, massage this point. That can also help to clear the diarrhea too. And so, and topping the top of the head you know, can help to uh, clear blockages you know, and which could cause um, Alzheimer, uh, a stroke, and all that kind of things. And there's many, many great things we can talk about. We just don't have time. So if you have my book, you know, Head to Toe Healing, you will, you will see a lot of great tools, great tips, healing tips in that book, helping you with a variety and wide range of things and to heal. And then we have these movements. If you have congestion in the lungs, in the head, you know, you're just dolphin, dolphin. And you make more time to do this movement. Then you might have a question. Hey, you know, since we have all these energy buttons we can touch, you know, why do we need to do these movements then? You know, simply, hey, Chen Yi, you just show me those, those energy points and then I push the buttons and then I heal my, 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 my challenge. You make a very, very good question and make a very good point. But you know what? This is different, the difference. When you have these energy points to massage, that these energy points, buttons, can help you to take care of urgent need. That means your symptoms. Stop the headaches, stop vomiting right away. You can feel better right away. That's great. But you know what? Do you know what is the real cost of this blockage, of this symptom in your body? The headache could be caused by the congestion in the tailbone. It, and now the vomiting could be from your intestines, it could be from your lungs, it could be from the base of the head, it could be from your brain. And that you, might, you might not know. And some doctors, even the best Chinese doctors, might make, make mistakes you know, or uh, left, left out, you know, that part of the body without paying any attention. Actually, that is the root, that's the location of the root of that symptom, the blockage. And how can we heal our body more completely and going to the root? Well, here, here it is, the movement. You gently you dolphin the body, doing this movement, and this movement will get you into the serenity and hooks you up to the court, to the source, to help to ignite the qi, the intelligence of the body, ignite the code of your life blueprint. That's the moment the body heals completely because the intelligence knows exactly what to do for you from head to toe, and you don't need to worry about that. Isn't that beautiful? So, in order to harvest this beautiful, beautiful fruit, you know what? The only way you can do that, you can succeed in doing that, is practice. Practice, 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 turn in and practice, and practice, make it complete. Now, let's do our practice for today. So, stand. So we're going to bounce the body, drop your shoulders, smile, bend your knees a little, put your tongue against the roof of the mouth, and the elbows move down a little, and the fingers open, and put a smile on your face. What smile stands for? Now let's say it together every day, we do this. Start my internal love engine. That's great. All right. Hmm. You activate the love energy from every cell in the body to help you throughout the whole day. Tell the universe 
the universe, I love you. Thank you so much for your kindness, for your love, for your forgiveness. At this moment, with my heart so open, please send me more of your unconditional love and healing power to help me to open all the energy centers, all the energy channels, and all the energy blockages in my body, if I have any, so that I can be healed completely. As I'm healed, I'm going to share a lot of joy, happiness, healing, love, and peace with my family, with my friends, my community, and even with the world. And I thank you. Then you start feeling the tingly sensation in your hands. You remember the Spring Forest Qigong, Qigong relaxation? Fingers are slightly open. You feel the tingly sensation in your hands. That means you are receiving the healing power and message from the universe now. Then you say the passwords of our Qigong practice. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. Feel that your body and the universe merging together as one. When that happens, how do you feel? Do you feel more tingly sensation even in the middle of your palm? Do you feel a beautiful breeze running down from your head to the toe? That means you are really, really opening up yourself to the universe, make the connection to the source. And then you stop bouncing. Bounce, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Do it gently. Take like uh, three seconds to inhale and four, five, six seconds or more to exhale. Focus on the exhaling a little bit longer time to enhance the healing power from within. And bounce with the rhythm. You feel comfortable. And smile, smile, smile. And you remember what does this movement do for you? It helps you to awaken all the energy centers and channels in the entire body for deeper meditation, for deeper penetration. And you connect yourself to the earth, to the universe. Now have your hands up. Continue to bounce. Inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let go with the wrist. Let go with the torso, but keep your spine straight, relaxedly. Now you are aware of what you are doing. So do you notice you combine all the three secrets of Qigong practice together now? The Qigong relaxation, awareness, and focus on the feeling of one area throughout the entire practice. Now you can put your hands down. Slowly stop. Now today we're going to practice breathing of the universe. Now slowly bend your knees a little. Slowly hold your hands up, like holding a basketball, fingers open like a grasping a ball. Inhale, take three seconds or so. Inhale, and four, five, even longer seconds to exhale. Use elbows to guide the movement. See the elbows go out first. And exhale, the elbows go in first before the hands. Feel now solely on the tingly sensation in your hands. Feel how good you feel. Once you focus on this tingly sensation in your hands, that's the moment you turn in. 
You don't need to worry about your symptoms and how could this energy from the hands go internally to help heal my coronavirus. How this energy goes in to help me to clear my diarrhea, headaches. You don't need to analyze it because you are awakening the intelligence of the qi and the qi helps you to do the rest of the work. What you need to do? Just enjoy this moment. This moment of serenity, this moment of the tingly sensation in your hands, in your fingers. Breathe gently and deeply. Inhale a little bit shorter time. Exhale a little bit longer time. And you, you are aware of what you are doing. That is it. Feel that you are so loved. Feel that you are so blessed. Say thankful. Say thank you to the universe for giving us this opportunity in this turbulent time to reunite our soul together. When you are in serenity, when you are doing these movements, radiating your unconditional love from within, you know what? The world gets the benefit. You radiate more peace, more love to the world. When so many people, hundreds of millions of people, doing the same thing, sending out this love, and this love all join together from each individual and it becomes collective consciousness. You see how powerful this energy will be helping the world with more healing, with more peace. And of course, by doing so, yourself gets the benefit too. And your loved ones get the benefit too. Two more movements. Inhale, open your hands slowly. Fingers open. Exhale, take a little bit longer time. Inhale again. Exhale. Now slowly, you put your hands down and straight up your knees. Take a deep breath. Now you can sit down. When you sit down, make sure you, you feel comfortable. That is very important because more you are relaxed, faster the channels are going to open. Put your hands on the lap. Close your eyes, continue to wear that beautiful, true smile on your face. Keep that unconditional love energy going. Now we're going to do the dolphining. Inhale, lift up your chin and stretch forward just a little bit to scoop that golf ball through your visualization and hold it a little bit tight on your neck. And exhale, lift the ball up towards to the ceiling and on purpose lean back a little for sec two seconds. Continue to exhale and then inhale again. Reach out your chin to scoop that ball, connect it to your neck. And exhale and lift the ball up to the ceiling and lean back for two seconds. Now continue to do this with your own rhythm while you're listening to me. Make sure you drop your shoulders. Make sure your fingers are slightly stretched. 
all these movements will help you to keep your body in a good awareness mode. And that's the way you relax yourself too. And the purpose of doing that is to help you to go deeper to ignite the code of life blueprint to help you to heal. Feel how good you feel. Now the focus of the feeling is on the chest, feeling that gentle, fine pulling sensation in the muscles of the chest. And you feel how far this feeling travels. Travels down to your stomach, to your back, to your shoulders, but you still focus solely on the feeling of the chest. Now, three more. Inhale, scoop the ball, connect to your neck. Exhale, lift it up towards the ceiling. Lean back for two seconds. And inhale again. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can inhale and relax. Take a deep breath. Now open your eyes and rub your hands together. And massage your face. Do you remember the way to massage your face? Now the two fingers push along the bridge of the nose to the forehead and then Put your hands to both sides and, uh, and go down. All right, so cup the top of the head nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. Now tap the beginning of the eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the middle of the face here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so cup the elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The whole arm from the shoulder down to the wrist. Now the right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. From the shoulder down. Okay, so cup the underarm here. So always start from the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, why do we cup this area? Do you remember that? This is the area where I it mean, is the closest to the lungs. When you cup this, uh, cup this area, the vibration from the sides can go into the lungs to help to clear energy blockages. That's it. Okay, so now um, massage the Haku point. 10 seconds. And if you want to close your eyes and sending light into it, and that's even better. Feel that feeling. Solely focus on the feeling in this spot. Now go to the right hand and massage. Feel the feeling. And send light into that spot. Okay, so now middle of the palm. 
massage like 10 seconds, something light, and feel how good you feel. And let go with your hand, yeah, just like what I do. And you don't stretch like this to massage, okay? Just relax and massage. And here is the right hand. And relax. Okay, now let's massage the two energy points. You, the other day I show you in the back of the head. So let's I'm gonna turn around here. So here, right, send this it's from the about two inches from the middle of the head towards the sides at the base of the uh, scalp. Put your thumb over here and massage. If you feel soreness in this area. That means you have energy blockages in, the, in this area. And, uh, these blockages could cause headaches, vomiting, dizziness, uh, fever, and many, many things. So massage it, they can help to stop that. Okay. That's very good. Now, and the next one is an, uh, an integrate your fingers and to chop it. This is very good for your throat and also for, for your spine too. Especially if you have a, a sclerosis in the upper part of the back. And also this is a very helpful exercise for helping the chi flow along your spine. All right, the last one is cup the knees nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so that's the end of today's practice. Thank you again so much for your commitment coming every morning. 8 o'clock Central Time to practice this together with me and with so many beautiful souls around the world. And absolutely all together we can make a good difference in the world. Um, so now don't forget, share what you learn with as many people as you can. The more we share, the more energy is going to come to you. And as always, I love you and many, many blessings to you. Goodbye for now.